What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I got asked a question on Instagram. He says that uh, he's getting into this half guard position and he's getting ate up by a lot of half guard players and a lot of leg lockers. Right, so they're coming here, they're getting in tight, they're either getting the sweep or they're taking them to the side like this, starting to attack like the X guard position. Um, so I'll give you two things to do. The first thing, if you're going against a leg locker, <laughs> I never want to go forward. Right, because if I go forward, it's easy for him to roll, get up under my hips, heel hook, toe hold, X guard, all that good stuff, right? So at any time he tries to come back, I'm trying to keep my far leg back and this knee in, all right? And I'm staying really low. If I can, I'll control this top uh, arm here, and I'm never overextending my body. Any time that I try to hold on to his arm while he's pulling here, my weight has shifted, all right? So it's gonna be easy for him, even if he can barely grab my leg, to get here, and now I'm done for it. So when we get to this position, I'm like this. Now we're gonna say that the person does get a grip on my leg. So one of the things that I like to do, especially in the gi, so I'm gonna get control of the person's collar. Now there's two things that I'll do from here. One, if the person is leaving their neck open, I'm gonna go right over top of their neck and I'm gonna drop my elbows to the floor. All right, it's kinda of like a little choke too. And it's gonna immobilize them. So once I go here, and I get over top the person's neck. If Tony's trying to move, trying to do anything, he's stuck, all right? And now what I'm waiting for is for him to move. As soon as I feel like his legs are uncrossed, I move, and now I get an easy pass. But you can try it for yourself on a partner. And this isn't one of those things, like if you're going against a really good guard player, I don't want to go here and just like reach and overextend myself. I want to wait for my opening for this one. So if we're here, turn this way so they can see it. We we'll go here, he's starting to crunch in. If I can see his neck open from this position, I'll go over top and I'll just drop my hip. Now if he's trying to get up under my hips, even if we get here, I can just walk in, kill the hip, turn back, and we're good to go. The other thing that I like to do, when he's coming in close, anytime he comes in close, I'm gonna get control of the gi. I use my forearm and this gi to pull the person right back. So we'll go here, if I can't go over top of his throat, I'm gonna go right at his nose and his jaw. So I'm gonna go here and turn, right? I'm really flaring out my elbow. I don't really have to worry about him attacking because as soon as he starts to move his hips or anything, I can let go of the position and I'm already past the guard, right? So we get here, we're in the position. Anytime he comes in close, I get really low, just like this. I get control of the collar and now I'm gonna run my wrist here until I can pass. And if he's holding on, I can just stay in this position, make it miserable for him until I can get my leg out and get my pass. As always, no liabilities.